there, I'm Helen Mabel, I'm an artist, and today I'm gonna take you along the journey with me of transforming my parents' old spare room in the basement into my brand new art studio slash office space. And I'm so excited! You can see a little sneak peek behind me there. But I'm gonna take you back in time to what this space used to look like when it was just filled with stuff. This space just didn't really have a purpose, it was just filled with a bunch of stuff and it was a weird color on the walls and the lights didn't quite work and nothing about it really screamed art studio. So get comfy, grab some tea, and let's get started on this room makeover. First things first, I really needed to clean out some of this stuff to make room for the furniture I'd be bringing in. Now, let's build some shelves. Excuse me, that's my spot. Look at you, you're so helpful. <laughs> oh, another box. I'll see who gets done first. shelves to store most of my miscellaneous art supplies on and my mom was super awesome to help me out with these and of course Pepper was also very helpful. Let's go ahead and put these shelves where they belong. I've always wanted one of these tiered rolling carts, so I finally picked one up from Michael's, but it wasn't exactly what I was expecting. Ooh, that's pink, huh? I did get the rose gold color because on the box, it doesn't look too rose, I guess. It doesn't look that pink on the box, but, um, it looks pretty pink in person. I don't know if you can tell. I guess I'll put it together, because I already opened the box. I don't hate pink though. I like pink, but it's just... Okay, I'm going to put it together. I'm put it together. All right, well, I hate the color of this so much, so I'm gonna go spray paint it. I really thought it was gonna be something else, but it's really pink and it's like this cool toned pink. It's not even like a warm peachy kind of pink. It's not the vibe I'm going for, so I'm gonna go spray paint it. So let's go do that. I'm actually really glad I ended up deciding to spray paint this instead of just returning it. I thought about it, but this way I was able to make it any color I wanted, so I decided to make it the color of my hair. Why don't we go ahead and assemble my new desk chair while we're at it? 
I'll have a link to this chair as well as to everything else I purchased for this studio makeover linked below. And I'll also include the links to things I've bought a while ago but still used in this room just in case you're curious about anything. Let me know if you have any questions about anything or if you see something that I don't have a link to. All right, let's get painting. <laughs> All right, so I was so excited to paint this room because it has been this same color of beige for its entire existence, so it was ready for a change. I decided to go with Swiss Coffee by Bear because I thought it looked like a nice warm white and it didn't really turn out being all that warm. It wasn't exactly cool, but it just wasn't as warm as I thought it would be, but I'm still happy with how it looks. I've never painted a whole room before, let alone by myself, and I promise you I'm not doing it again anytime soon. It was so exhausting and I didn't even film myself painting the upper half of the room or the ceiling. And yes, the ceiling was painted the same color as beige, just don't even get me started. But I'm really glad that I ended up doing it because the room looks a thousand times better and so much brighter. painting the entire room, I decided to add a green arch onto this wall. I used the trick of tying a piece of string to a nail and putting the nail in the center of your arch to create an even curve, and so on and so forth. I'm not usually one to hop onto style trends, but I had a bunch of extra green paint from another project just sitting around, so I figured I'd add a little color to the room with an arch. If I end up getting sick of it, I can always paint over it, but as of now, I really like it. That's coming down. That's old. I'm not keeping that, I don't think. No, I don't know, gotta think about it. Anyway, it's time to finally start organizing this mess, which I've been putting off for a really long time. Once I'm done organizing though, I can finally decorate, which I'm super excited for, so let's get to it. At this point, I was already super bored of organizing, so I just went ahead and started decorating and just kind of kept organizing as I went along.
here I am trying to figure out if I can hang this shelf by myself, which, spoiler alert, I could not. Um, but I really kept trying at it. Like, what, what am I even doing here? <laughs> I'm not really sure what my plan was and how I even thought I could possibly do this by myself. Like, I, like what was my thought process here? <laughs> But finally, after trying by myself for what looks like ages, I finally went and got help from my mom. So thank you again, mom, for coming in and saving me because who knows what I was trying to do. I got these table legs from Facebook Marketplace. I was so happy to find these and for a decent deal too. I've been really wanting table legs like these because you can adjust the height of your table top and that's really great for working on all kinds of different projects. So I really loved what Catnip did in her studio with using cutout grass letters to spell out the word create. I thought it was so cute and I just really loved the organic vibe of it. So I decided to try it for myself. And I probably spent an hour, maybe two hours cutting out these letters, which was really not easy at all. It was so difficult. I hated it. It was there was just like fake grass everywhere and it just wasn't very fun. And then when I went to actually put them up on the wall, I really tried to look at it for a while and really really tried to like it, but I just really really didn't and I just hated it. It's pretty awkward. I thought it was going to be a lot cuter. Okay, I hate it. It's coming down.
All right, so there you have it. This is my new studio space and I am so, so excited about it. It is huge and it is awesome. I have everything I could possibly need and I am just so excited. I know I've already said that, but I am. I'm just so excited. I really couldn't be happier with this space and I can't wait to start making some really, really cool projects in here and get back to working on my Etsy shop. I am so grateful to have this space and for my parents for allowing me to use this space. Thank you so much, mom and dad. But that is it for this video. I do have a lot of exciting projects planned for the future, so subscribe and turn on post notifications if you don't wanna miss new videos from me. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you wanna see some sneak peeks of upcoming projects that are going on. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.